What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using a Vaporeon squad for ranked regulation H. Now, when it comes to Vaporeon, this Pokemon, or I should say this evolution, is one of the lesser used evolutions when it comes to competitive play. But nonetheless, this Pokemon is still phenomenal and I'm super excited to be showcasing it. It's got Water Absorb as ability, Rock and Leftovers as item because it is a pretty bulky Pokemon, so getting a little bit of HP at the end of every single turn is actually really valuable. It's pure water type Pokemon with the fire type as terror type and then it has a phenomenal move set ice beam protect scald and calm mind once you get those calm mind boosts going you're gonna be able to hit like a truck and be super bulky on the special defensive side so like I said super excited to be using this Pokemon cannot wait to set up some calm minds and get rolling with him Another Pokemon that I'm really excited to be using is Raichu. I know I used Raichu a little bit on the channel previously, but I haven't used it in a good bit. So Raichu, great Pokemon with Lightning Rod and the Focus Sash, Nuzzle to set up some Paralyzes and some Speed Control. Then you got Surf, Thunderbolt, and Fake Out. Really do like it. Final four Pokemon are going to be Rillaboom, Arcanine, Annihilate, and Mousehold. Annihilate and Mousehold go together really, really well. Actually, not this one. I thought it was going to be beat up Mousehold with Annihilate with Rage Fist, but no, they're two separate Pokemon. Annihilate's got the Choice Scarf. Mousehold's got the Wildlands, they're both doing big time physical attacking damage. Arcanine's got Intimidate with E Speed, Rock Slide, Flare Boots, and Protect. And then Rillaboom, just doing Rillaboom things. It's got Fake Out, it's got Grace God, Wood Hammer, and High Horsepower. A very solid Pokemon within Regulation each. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Vaporeon in ranked Regulation each. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a pretty solid Komo O team. They also got Torkoal, they got Sinisha, they got Frigrip, all for the Trick Room side of their squad. Then they got Rillaboom and Incineroar, two great fake out users. But I think Vaporeon could be a rather solid lead for us alongside with Raichu because we can always surf for HP recovery with our Vaporeon, or we can fake out and allow Vaporeon to set up some combines. So I'm going to go Raichu, I'm going to go Vaporeon here. I think that's a solid lead for us. In the back end, we could go Arcanine for Intimidates. We're kind of going to need something to deal with Torkoal. I feel like Torkoal is just, oh, he's just ugly to deal with, especially once they pop a Trick Room. So honestly, Arcanine could be pretty good. And then we could just go like Annihilate with the Choice Scarf. I think that's our best option. I really do. That's exactly what we're going to do. Choice Scarf and I like final Pokemon. It's always solid to have a choice Pokemon because a choice item becomes much more valuable when there's only a few more Pokemon left on the field because you know exactly what move you need a choice into. So I like Annihilate here in our final slot, but looking to set up Vaporeon here early on in this, this matchup here, trying to get the calm minds going. Hopefully they lead like, I don't even know, something that we could fake out, right? Something that we could just be like, right, you fake out. We set up the calm mind. We really get rolling. It's going to be Koma O and Sinisha, and this is actually something I don't mind. I think they do set up a Trick Room, but at the same time, I think we got to go into that Calm Mind. I am scared of Macha Gacha a little bit. I'm not going to lie, but I like Calm Mind here alongside with Fake Out into Koma O. They could hard swap into like Torkoal. They could definitely do that, but after this Calm Mind boost, this could be really good for us. This could be beautiful for us. I do have the Fire Terror with Sinisha. We're well, not Sinisha, with Vaporeon, which could be nice, especially if uh, if they want to go in like Rillaboom or like Grassy Glide user. But Como is going to take this fake out, and we're going to see a Rage Powder pop out here. So this is a free Calm Mind turn, unless you're Covert Cloak, right? Unless you are Covert Cloak, and you're not. So it goes for Rage Powder, we get off a free Calm Mind. <clears throat> Purple Vaporeon kicking it right now. So it's plus one special defense, plus one on special attack. We like that. So from here, honestly, I could just... Uh, Throw an Ice Beam across this way and just start dealing damage to the Sinistra, which I think might be our best bet. And maybe just nuzzle this Komo. -O. You could go for another Rage Powder. You have options here. And yeah, you do. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. So it looks like Komo -O might just want to like set up here. But it's good that Nuzzle's going to fly here and paralyze this bad boy. So we get a nice little Paralyze. We're going to be able to go for a nice lovely plus one Ice Beam. You do have Rocky Helmet. Okay, Rocky Helmet flying here, and Clangor's Soul is going to fly here. That's looking a little scary. That is looking a little scary. All these stat boosts going to go crazy. Attack, defense, special attack, special defense, speed, right? It's everything. <laughs> it's everything. So he's going to get everything going here at the cost of, what is it, 130 HP? And you got Throat Spray too, so you're plus 2 on special attack. And Ice Beam going to do a lovely chunk of damage. That's a nice chunk of damage there. Um... I could set up another combine. I kind of just want to try to go for Ice Beam here. And I'm going to do that alongside with maybe just a swap here. Do I swap into like maybe Arcanine? Hmm. 
there is a, sh a chance that you do go for a uh, another rage powder. I could swap Raichu, or I can just go for Nuzzles here. Well, you know what? I'll surf. You're gonna outspeed. Kunamo is gonna outspeed, so if he goes after Vaporeon, we can at least get back some HP here. Yeah, out comes a Terra type. The Terra type going to launch. Gonna be Kunamo. Uh -oh. And what do you got? Steel, maybe? Gonna be normal, so this thing's looking to do some damage. What move are you using? Normal? Or is that just a defensive Terra? Normal comes out here. Let's see a Boom Burst fly through here. Oh no. Oh no. Not a Boom Burst. Raichu's probably dead to this. Yeah, Raichu dies out. Raichu dies out here. So Vaporeon getting some work done. I think a Machigachi's gonna fly here. Ice Beam maybe give us a freeze. Nice damage. Asking you shall receive. A freeze comes out here. That's a huge freezy pop. And Life Dew is gonna cook. All right. So Life Dew flies out here. We are gonna get rid of the Sinisha this next turn. We just can't deal with any of that anymore. That's a big time freeze from your boy. That's a big time freeze. That's a big time freeze. That's a huge freeze. Leftover is going to help us out a little bit. I think now is a good time for us to go into you. And just throw a Drain Punch into that slot. Actually, mm, I don't know. This is tough because I definitely want to go for Ice Beam into this slot. But Annihilate's faster. That was actually a bad swap by me. I should have swapped into a different Pokemon. You're probably going to go for Rage Powder. You know what? We're going to switch this up because Skull can do some damage. We're going to go Scald here. And we're going to go Shadow Call into this slot. That's going to be my play. Yep, good call on my end. Great call on my end. Beautiful call on my end. Beautiful call on my end. Because Shadow Call is going to outspeed that. It's going to take out Sin... Does not take out Sin Show. Wow. Wow. And of course you thaw out. Another Boom Burst is going to fly here. Nope, Clang Scales. Wow. I'm able to survive, which is great news. But I'm now choosing the Shadow Call, which really sucks. Wow. You survived that Shadow Call? That is absurd. That is absurd. You surviving that Shadow Call actually might have just made us lose that match. I can't believe Annihilate didn't do enough damage there. That's exactly why I did it. All that hurts. And you thought out. No, and Freeze did nothing for us. That really hurts the soul. So no value with the Freeze. At all. <laughs> at all. And now we're sitting here with Arcanine in the back end. This thing's special attacking. Um... And Sinor is going to come out here and probably just fake us out. Um, do we want to swap or annihilate? We probably want to swap or annihilate. We probably want to swap or annihilate. I'm just going to protect and swap annihilate. I think we're going to need annihilate with Drain Punch to outspeed, pick up some KOs, get some HP recovery. That's really where we're at right now. That is really where we're at. But the thing is, Como is plus one on defense as well, which is scary. So we're going to end up intimidating this Incineroar. We're going to protect the Vaporeon. He's probably just going for uh, Clanging Scales again, if I had to guess. Maybe I should just let the Vaporeon die. Let's see. Fake Out's going to fly into the Vaporeon slot. That's a solid protect. He's going to rip another Clanging Scales. Alright. So Scales fly again. Doing a ridiculous amount of damage in the media. His defense is dropping. Actually, he's minus one on defense. He's minus one on defense. Might be your best bet to just scald here and E speed because he's outspeeding us. Right? Let me see his stats real quick. Hold up. Give me a second. Minus one on defense. Yeah, you're outspeeding us. No problem. So, yeah, I'm going to go for E speed and see how much damage we can do. We still have Terror type. We do still have Terror type if I want to use it, but like. Mm. Don't really want to use it right now. I mean, what would be our best terror type? Maybe saving it for you? You have fire, but there's really no point in using that. I'm just going to go for a regular E speed. I was kind of hoping it was normal, give us that damage boost. But E speed's going to fly here, and it does not enough. So close, though. Clanging Scale is going to fly here. He's going to pick up the double KO. All right, so we're still not out of this yet. We are still not out of this. Still not out of this. We got our. Choice Scarf, little Pokemon in the back end. Come close here. It's a close battle. And the real question is, who do I KO? The real question is, who do I KO? The 
problem is I don't think we could get we don't even have drain punch We don't even have drain punch. This one's over. I thought we had drain punch for a second It's close combat even with close combat. I just think it's over This thing is we're gonna lower our defense He's just gonna go for knockoff. I Feel like we have to go for como -oh if we want a shot here. Maybe he I don't know goes for parting shot I, I don't I have no idea what, what he's gonna go for here but yeah, we have to get rid of Como. Uh, we have to. I mean, obviously I can dump on the what's it called? Obviously I can dump on Incineroar, but I know Como -oh is attacking, so I like my chances better with taking out Como. -oh, but either way, it's not looking good for your boy. We could have just won. We could have just won. We could have just won if we attacked Incineroar. We could have just won if we attacked Incineroar. Oh my lord! Game over. Game over. We could have won if we attacked Incineroar. That's crazy to think about. I could have sworn that Como was attacking, but hey, I guess that's a great protect from him. GG's. We're 0-1 to get the video started. Moving on to our second match, and our opponent got really lucky that we didn't use Incineroar, or didn't attack Incineroar, I should say. Considering it was a simple play for them, they should have just doubled down attacking, considering Annihilate has no double-hitting moves. So if they would have just doubled down attacking, they would have won no problem. But they put themselves at risk and actually lucked out that I attacked that Como instead of attacking Incineroar. Because if we had attacked Incineroar, we would have KO'd it with one close combat, stab, super effective, big time damage. And then we would have outsped the Como -oh and picked up a KO onto that as well. So crazy, crazy match right there. Hopping into our second match. Looking to use Vaporeon a little bit more here. They got a few special attackers. I do still like Vaporeon here, maybe setting up with, with the what's it called? The Combine. So I am going to end up leading it. Um, they could lead hit on top, but I think Raichu is going to be a better lead for us. Just for fake outs and nuzzles, kind of like the last one. Um, late game Pokemon could be Annihilate. Like I said, that, that Choice Scarf is just huge. But I'm super upset that that Sinisha didn't die out the Shadow Call. Which is a little crazy. But this is a bulky one right here. It's more of a coaching setup here. But I still, I feel like it should have KO'd there. I do feel like it should have KO'd. I like Arcanine. Um, and our final Pokemon could be Mousehold. Or it could just be this Rillaboom. I mean, Rillaboom's just solid all around. So I am going to go Rillaboom. But yeah, that Annihilate there is more for coaching, which I which I knew. I kind of thought I had Drain Punch. But at the same time, like Shadow Call at that low HP. Come on, man. I expected that to KO. I expected that to KO. We all did. I feel like we all did. But Vay Point on for a lead again. Hoping we can get things started off here with another Calm Mind boost. And they're going to end up going into Golden Go and Mousel. Now... This is definitely a little scary. We have to fake out the mouse, which, but we're not going to because I'm going to predict that he actually terrestrializes here. And I can just set up a combine, so. And I'm going to nuzzle this mouse at the same time. He's, I think he's going to terrestrialize into ghost here. I think there's a hot shot at that happening. And then we just get off a nice, lovely combine boost. Nice, lovely boost alongside with a nuzzle. That could be nice. But yeah, I'm kind of scared. Like, this could just be following me. Just not as a nice little protection. But I do believe that they're going to Thrasilize Mousehold into Ghost. Just to dodge a fake out. Because a fake out would be so obvious, which is why I didn't go into it. Which is why I'd rather go into a Nuzzle. And no, they don't even... They just sit there and take it. They don't even Thrasilize. Alright, that's fine. We get off a nice little Nuzzle onto that Pokemon. Nancy Pot's going to fly here, so... Stat boost for stat boost. Um, I could Thrasilize into Fire, which wouldn't be bad for Vaporeon. Um, I wonder what Mouse was going for. Hopefully nothing. Hopefully he's just paralyzed. That's really what I'm hoping for. And he's going to taunt me. That's fine. So I get off my calm mind and now he taunts me. Pristine. Pristine. So we got a nice little paralyze off there. Um, from here, I think Terrestrialize and Fire is probably our best bet. And just ripping Skulls into Golden Go. And maybe just following through with like a Thunderbolt here as well. Doubling down into, slot, into this slot. I like it. I like it. So we're going to terrestrialize our lovely little Vaporeon just because make it rain is just real scary. So we're going to go into a nice little fire type. Get cooking with that. Get cooking with that. Little fire type on our head. Little fire type. We are taunted, which which we don't mind anyway. And looks like you want to go for a follow me, but you're paralyzed, baby. You're paralyzed here. Thunderbolt's going to rip up into you, do a little bit of damage. Not bad. Scald, how much damage can you do? You're going for another nasty part. Oh, no. That's something we don't like. That is something we do not like. Double Nasty Plot. Scald does decent damage. And, of course, you're buried. Oh, my God, dude. This thing is about to massacre me. This thing is about to absolutely burn me down to the ground. 
This is about to get real scary. Um, hmm. I got you with Fire Blitz. That's not bad. Um, I get range, still gonna do eight. Ridiculous amount of damage. And we're just gonna rip another Thunderbolt. We're just gonna double down to this Golden Go again. Follow me, comes out here. And I, I would I would think Golden Go would want to attack here. I would think he, he would want to attack. Thunderbolt does great damage into you, and Shadow Ball is going to launch into Vaporeon, and we're going to say bye-bye to Vaporeon. Actually, no, Vaporeon soaks that. Beautiful, lovely. And you pick up the KO. I love you. I love you, Vaporeon. I love you, Vaporeon. That's a big-time eat-up. That's a big-time eat-up. So Vaporeon, or not Vaporeon, Raichu's kind of just chilling here. I could protect and just nuzzle this next Pokemon, which I think I would rather do. Just to get some leftovers HP again. And then maybe surf, get like a water absorb. Let's see what they go into. I'm just going to be... It's going to be Talonflame. If Talonflame comes out of here, probably going to go for a Tailwind. Most likely. I think just protecting you. Oh, I'm taunted. I really want to protect there. I totally forgot I was taunted. I think we're just going to do that and just go for a Surf at the same time. I'm going to go for a Water Absorb Surf. He's going to end up Tailwinding. Oh, man. That's ugly. That's real ugly. I really want to protect and nuzzle. See, that would have been a great turn for us. That would have been a great turn for us. Protect and nuzzle. But instead, Vaporeon will drop out. No big deal. I feel like it got off a lot of value there. Um, hmm. Surf's going to launch here. How much damage is this doing? Not bad damage. Not bad damage. And I could go into you and just fake out. But there's a chance that you are... There's a chance that you are what's it called. You are Cobra Cloak Talonflame. So instead, I'm just going to go into you. I'm just going to keep Thunderbolt in this, uh... This Golden Go down. Because Golden Go is obviously the scariest Pokemon on the field. It's terrifying. It's terrifying. It is so scary. Make It Rain is going to do an absurd amount of damage. So from here, I'm going to go for a Flare Blitz. Just at least try it. And at the same time, I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt. We have to just keep chunking up damage into this slot. We have to. It's a must. But yeah, no Protect there. I would have protected. I would have nuzzled the uh, town flame. Would have been nice for us. Would have definitely been really nice. But instead, we had to go for a surf, which didn't work out too bad. I mean, some nice damage all across the board. Brave Bird is now going to launch, do respectable damage for a Brave Bird. But he's going to end up doubling down in this slot. So we get rid of Golden Go this turn. All right. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. I thought you were going to go for a Make It Rain. I'll take that all day. So we get rid of Golden Go here. With a nice, lovely Flare Blitz. And they still have Terra. And we can Rock Slide this bird away if we wanted to. Alright, not bad. We got Rillaboom ready to roll. Um, I think just faking out the next Pokemon is probably our play. It's going to be... Is this Ursaluna? It is. So faking out that Pokemon is going to be the play. So we're going to fake him out. We're going to drop a Rock Slide. Look to get off some big time damage. Take out the bird. And then kind of just worry about this this uh ursalina right yeah we gotta go for rock slide rock slide fake out all day all day simple play unless you're ghost terror ursalina but i don't think so i don't think so that would be a heartbreaker that would definitely be a heartbreaker a ghost terror ursalina sometimes you see it most of the time they're just normal they're just there to rip hyper voices all that good stuff so we'll see how they want to play this one we don't have terror anymore we use it on our vaporeon who they get off some decent value there but a plus four Golden Go was just, oh my lord, that was looking terrifying. That was looking terrifying. We are going to see the Terra type pop out here. And who you got with it? Gonna be Ursuline. Please don't be Ghost. It's normal. Beautiful. Cool. I was going to say, yo, Ghost, you don't see it too often. A lot of them are normal. So this is a good sign for us. We're still able to fake it out. Bop. Make a flinch for this turn. Talonflame's going to go for a will o -Wisp, which is no big deal for me. I'm cool with that. And as long as this Rock Slide connects... Oh, no. I don't think it's going to connect. I have a gut feeling, man. I got a weird gut feeling about this. It does connect. It does connect, which is huge. And I think Tailwind is gone this turn, too. Is it? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Is it? Because right now, he's outspeeding us. I think it might be one more turn. There might be one more turn here. There is one more turn. I got Protect, which I'll probably use on a Rillaboom. Yeah, we're going to protect the... Oh, not Robin. We're going to protect the Arcanine here. So I'll protect Arcanine. Uh, I am going to go for a Woodhammer here. Actually, do I just go for Grass Guy? Look to rip up some damage. Nah, we're just going to go for 
Wood Hammer, I think is our best call. I think there is a chance that you just go for a ground move here, rather than like a Hyper Voice or Blood Moon. And yeah, you do go for the Earth Power. So great protect on our end. We're going to waste out Tailwind. Wood Hammer should still do decent amount of damage. I know we're burned. But at the same time, Wood Hammer and Terrain does great damage. So yeah, respectable damage all day. That's respectable damage. So from here, I'm thinking that there is a chance that Ursa Luna protects, but we have to go for our big time hitting moves. Which is going to be Flare Blitz and Wood Hammer here. We're just going to double down into this because Hyper Voice isn't going to be able to KO any of us. So I like where we're sitting. Plus, both my Pokemon should be able to outspeed. Definitely Arcanine. Roll Boom. Depends on this uh, Ursaluna. I think it, sh it should still outspeed. But some Ursalunas, if you fully invest speed into it, it can really get cooking. So I'm going to go for Flare Blitz. I'm going to stick with Wood Hammer. Let's look to wrap up this match. He's going to end up protecting. Yeah, Smart Protect. Get his get his uh his terrain HP, but we also get that HP. We also get that HP, so. As long as we just outspeed, man. As long as we outspeed. As long as we outspeed. Because I think he wants to go for another Earth Power. I could protect Arcanine, but I, I don't think there's a need to. I really don't think there's a need to. I think we just I think we just keep sending our moves. Flare Blitz Wood Hammer. Flare Blitz might be able to KO straight up. It might be cutting it close, but I think Flare Blitz has a shot at KO in here. And here's Flare Blitz. Can Flare Blitz do it? It does. We get a crit anyway, so <laughs> make life easy for us. We're going to win that match regardless. We're sitting 1-1, one one, killing it with this Vaporeon team so far. Let's go hop into our third and final. So, guys, we're here. Third and final match. Let's get some work done here. Looking to go 2-1, and one, looking to grab ourselves a winning record, but this one's honestly going to be tough. We're going up against one of the strongest teams in regulation each. Gold to go, Pelipper. Archaloot on Basket Legion, Rillaboom alongside Wimscott. Very fast team, very weather control -y, very powerful. Like, Archaloot is just elite in that sense. Um, I could final Gambit a Pokemon here early on. Hopefully, they lead, like, Archaloot and then I can just final Gambit away. That would be, like, our best situation, and I think I'm going to actually go for that. So, I'm going to do that, and I might honestly lead Vaporeon, or I could lead Raichu and just start nuzzling away, because, honestly, nuzzles are really clutch. But I think Vaporeon could be really good here, especially if I can get those... Calm mind boost going. So I'm gonna end up going into both of them. Um in the back end. Ah oh, man, dude, Arch is just so tough. Arch is brutal to take take out. So I'm thinking we're gonna definitely need Annihilate. But uh in the back end, we could just go Arcanine here. And either Rule Boom or Mouse Hold. And looking at this, Rule Boom's probably a little bit better, just because of two ghost types that we can't hit with Pop Bomb, so Mouse Hold would just turn into a support Pokemon at that point. Plus, I mean, are, are we really hitting Arch Ludon with Pop Bomb? Ten of them just boosting its stamina max? Not a good idea. Not a good idea, so, oh yeah, yeah, Mouse Hold not coming in here. We're one on one I don't know how to feel about this one. This one's definitely gonna be tough for us. Arch Ludon, I can see Arch Ludon just absolutely ripping up into us, but we're gonna put up a fight nonetheless. Let's see. Bash Legion Golden Go. I think we're I think we're pretty much forced to swap. I think we're pretty much forced to swap what's it called? Annihilate here. Much I don't want to. I'd rather intimidate this Bash Legion. So I'm gonna do that and I'm just gonna set up a combine here. I think we're forced to swap Annihilate. I need Annihilate. I need him. I need him to deal with Archelinum. We don't we don't have much to deal with Archelinum besides maybe this Vaporeon, but we have to get Vaporeon set up in order to have a, at least a shot in the Archeludon. So this team is just we're, just, we're just in shambles right now, early on this match. Just, th their team just counters us so much. It's just, like, like I said in the beginning, this is just one of the best teams in Regulation H. Like, Archelon Ar Pelipper with, like, basically Legion Gold to go. Like, it's just ridiculous. It's just so strong. If you don't have, like, a direct counter to it, you, you're, you're having a tough time like we're doing right now. But I end up swapping into Arcanine. I know, I know, it's a fire type, and it's a rock type. But we're going to hope that water move is not flying out here. Plus, I like to intimidate into that slot. We're going to see a Shadow Ball flying in this slot. Cool. The Shadow Ball launches. We're able to soak. And he's going to go for a flip turn. That's going to KO us. But I get off a of Calm Mind. All right. That's, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. There's that. He flip turns out of here. Um, we go back into... I mean, we get to see who he goes into first. So let's see who he goes into first. And then we can decide if we want to go back into our Annihilate. To be Pelipper, so rain's gonna be set. Rain is set. So rain's on the field. Combine's gonna boost up. That's actually good. Skull can do some damage. Skull can do some damage right now. Skull can do some damage. So rain's on the field. I think we just go into our Rillaboom here. 
And we can fake out the Pelipper this turn. Or I can just Grass Guide or even Woodhammer into that slot. I think faking out that slot's a little bit better and then just scolding away this, uh, this Golden Go. We could definitely see a swap of Bash Legion, but at that point, we can just Grass Guide. So I'm going to do that. Fake out into the Pelipper slot, into a Scald, into Golden Go, which is something I like to do. And Golden Go kind of seems like it's choice. I mean, it did a lot of damage with that Shadow Ball. So I wouldn't be surprised to see this thing being choice spec right now. And we'll see what he wants to do here. We'll see. They could have Real Boom to deal with Vaporeon in the back end, but I feel like it's got to be Arch Ludon, which is why I had to keep our, our boy. But there's a Withdrawal into you. Now you're going back into Bash Legion because Skull can still do some nice damage. Let's see who he ends up going into. It's going to be the Arch Ludon. The Arch Ludon comes out here in the rain. Pelper's just going to simply protect. Smart play by Paloops. And how much damage can Skull do here? I mean, you're Dragon type. It's in the rain, though. Plus one special attack. Stab. How much damage is Skull doing? What do we got here? Can we get a burn, too? A burn would be beautiful. That's decent damage. And we do get a burn. All right. Thank you, RNG gods. Thank you, Poke gods. It's a nice little burn to get on the Pokemon. So we end up burning him. Um, I could double down into Arch Ludon at this point. I could Terrasilize or Vaporeon as well. I'm scared. I, I kind of want to... Hmm. I'm just going to Grass Guide this thing. Actually, I'm going to Woodhammer you. And I'm going to Terrasilize you and just throw an Ice Beam in this slot. We got to just keep chunking up damage right into this Pokemon. So yeah, we're Terrasilizing the Vaporeon. I just I just don't need an Electro Shot just dropping me right now. So I'm going to Terrasilize Vaporeon. Electro Shot's just scaring me. It's just scaring me. Hopefully they don't set up a Tailwind and they kind of just attack me. And they do. You should soak a Hurricane here, real boom. All day long. Don't get the Ducks. Of course you get the Ducks. Alright, so RNG works both ways. I get a burn, you get Ducks. Can I at least hit through the Ducks this turn? At least this turn. We kind of need you this turn, more than anything. Of course not. Of course not. So we lose a full turn of Ducks. Oh my lord, and there's the Electro Shot. A full turn of Ducks, man, because that Wood Hammer turn would have been huge. Like, if we didn't get confused there, we would have Wood Hammered, probably Grass Guide, take out the Pelipper, and then kind of just went from there. It would have worked really well. But Electro Shot does fly into Vaporeon. We're able to soak it. Another one we will not soak, which is tough news. And Ice Beam is going to do decent damage. Sam is going to boost him up again. Oh, man, dude, that really hurts the soul. That really hurts the soul right there, that, that, that Wood Hammer miss. And from here, I'm just going to Grassy Glide. Get rid of Focus Ash if he does have this. And I'm just going to protect my Vaporeon just to get back a ton of HP. So yeah, Grassy Glide. And protect here. Oh my lord, that hurts, man. That Confusion turn? I think we would have been sitting good. We would have been sitting real good. We would have been sitting real pretty. We would have been sitting real pretty. So there's a nice little protect on our end. Hopefully Pelper's not protecting. I'm confused. I I'm going to lose another turn. I feel it. I feel it. Oh my lord, come on now! <laughs> come on now! I need a little bit better RNG. Weather Ball's gonna come through here, and I hope he sends Weather Ball my way. I really do. I really do. Just because the sheer fact is, I have Water Absorb. I have Water Absorb. But they're gonna leave Rillaboom on the field, because it looks like they're targeting down this Vaporeon here. No, they're attacking Rillaboom. They are attacking Rillaboom. Go for another Weather Ball into this slot. Please. Please do that. Please. Be my guest. Be my guest. Now he's sitting here plus two on the fence. Do we think a close combat can KO? Because I could always just final gambit this thing down. I could always final gambit. I might have to. I might just final gambit that away and then just attack this Pelper. But then it turned into like a 3v1. And do we think Vaporeon's got, got what it takes to do that? Cause I don't think Coast Combat's KO and I really don't. I really don't want to be really clutch if it does. But I really don't think it's KO and that's my problem. So I'm just gonna sacrifice. I'm just gonna get rid of this thing. I'm just gonna have to deal with this. I do have water absorbed, which I don't I don't know if they're ready for. I don't know if they're ready for that, and we'll ice beam this slot. So I'm gonna get rid of the Arch Ludon. And we'll see a Terra type pop out here. The Terra type pops out here. Is this going to be... It's going to be you. Okay, we're final gambiting you regardless. And you're dead. So now we just waste out your terror type. Alright, cool. 
So you can call Maya just to go for Final Gambit. It's our, it's our best shot. It's our best shot. Final Gambit's just gonna take you out. Bye bye, Archer Ludon. And we'll see if Vaporeon can clutch this one up, but I knew this one was gonna be tough. Honestly, I think Vaporeon maybe had a shot at clutching up if Rillaboom wasn't didn't get confused, because Pelper would have died. We could have saved Grassy Guide for Basket Legion. Everything would have worked great, and now he's water absorbed me, and I'm back up to full HP. Lovely. Lovely. Ice Beam's gonna launch. Can we half this? We do half you. No freeze. A freeze would have been nice, and at this point, you don't have weather. Pretty good for us, but Basket Legion with, like, last respects. Definitely scaring me. Golden Go coming in here with Shadow Ball. Definitely scaring me. If you go into Golden Go here, it might just, uh, Calm Mind Boost again. And you do. I'm going to Calm Mind Boost here again. You might even swap Pelipper, so now would be a good turn for me to go for Calm Mind. I'm going to do it. I'm going to give it a shot. I feel, like, I feel like it's a it's a last resort kind of thing. We're sitting in the face of a 3v1 situation here. You could protect Pelipper too after seeing us Ice Beam that down. So I think Calm Mind is going to be reply, especially with the leftovers and terrain still intact. Yep, there's a swap. Good call on Iron. We got off a nice little Calm Mind here. Even though Bashka Legion is just a huge threat. I don't know if I can deal with I don't know if I can deal with Bashka Legion. And there's a Shadow Ball, which should do a little less than half. A little about about one fourth. I mean, and of course you get a special defense drop. Come on now. I'm trying here, but yeah, I don't I don't think we can we can hang with this Bashka Legion here. I think this Bashka Legion is just too much for us to handle. I really do. I, I think I have to start attacking Bashka Legion first. Because Last Respect just gets more powerful and powerful. So I think just attacking Basket Legion right now is our play. I really do. I'm gonna go for a Scald into the slot. Maybe maybe try to look for a burn. Maybe they swap in the ring and get a damage boost. But Scald's gonna do more damage than Ice Beam right now. That's gonna be my play. That is gonna be my play. They could swap Gold and go and just set the rain up. Just for Swift Swim purposes and all that. But they pour out. If I clutch this up, this would be crazy. Yep, there's the swap. Hold up. Skull can do some damage now. Skull can do some damage. We know he wants to go for last respects, and we have to get rid of this Pokemon first and foremost. We have to get rid of this Pokemon. Drizzle out and about. Skull, and how much damage can you do? There's last respects. How much damage is this doing? Ah, oh, that's a lot of damage. That's a bit more than I wanted to do. And Skull does half. Can I get a burn? No. And yeah, that's pretty much game. That's pretty much game. I mean, I could try double protecting. I think that's what I what I would need is, is a double protect here. Just to get two turns of leftovers back. But at this point, I mean, it's tough. It's tough. Last Respect's just doing some damage right now. It's doing some damage. But yeah, man, I really, I really feel as if we didn't lose two turns of confusion. I think we would have won this match because Vaporeon would have easily won a 2v1 up against Pelipper and Golden Go. No problem. No problem. It was Bashki Legion, which was our big threat. But from here, I'm just going to try to go for double protect. I think we need the extra leftover HP. Another last resort effort here with Vaporeon. But nonetheless, I think this Pokemon was phenomenal in today's video. Let's see. Let's see if we can land it. Just for, just for a tiny bit. 1 16th more HP. And we do get it. We do get it. So more, more leftovers HP coming out here. Scald's gonna have to fly, and it, I mean, I don't think we're even surviving one last respects, let alone a last respects and a hurricane. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. We're only plus one on special defense now because of the shadow ball drop. But yeah, it is what it is. Last respects getting the best of us. I'm gonna still try sending a Scald that way. And look at the KO. Yeah, I, yeah, I think Last Respect's doing way too much damage. Should we, maybe we should have went for a triple protect. Maybe we should have went for five protects in a row. I just said screw it, but no, Last Respect's finishing us off. Good game. GG's. We go one and two for today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Rocking out with Vaporeon in today's video. Absolutely love this Pokemon. Had a blast with it, setting up Calm Minds, being bulky, doing some decent damage, but ultimately ended up losing and grabbing ourselves a 1-2 losing record. Still, again, this team was awesome. Raichu was great. 
surfing up with a little bit of water absorb. We got Thunderbolts off, Nuzzles, Fake Outs, Vaporeon Combine setting up, Ice Beam doing great damage. Same thing with Scald, and then the rest of the four, always solid in Regulation H. You really can't go wrong with them. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.